Hi everyone, my name is Ike Iguagu and in this very next for SketchUp tutorial, we will be showing you the best and quickest ways to apply materials for your renderings. Now, there are two ways you can apply materials in the SketchUp interface. You can either use SketchUp alone or you can make use of the V-Ray Asset Editor. For this tutorial, I'm going to be using V-Ray Next 4.2 for SketchUp and I hope you can follow along. So here we are in the SketchUp interface and the first tool we're going to use for the basic material application is the paint bucket tool. So basically when you want to apply materials in SketchUp, you simply go there as your first option. And then when you come here, you are given this toolbar with different buttons on it. This is an eyedropper tool. As we see in um, softwares like Photoshop and Illustrator, this item is used to select colors or object or in SketchUp's case, you can use it to pick materials in case you want to edit them for later. And then let's check out the materials that SketchUp has over here. So we have a couple of folders here. Let's open, let's open carpet and textures. Right, so these are basically these these materials might look 3d but they are all two-dimensional materials meaning they are just basically images okay so for this let's use a brick yes brick and cladding okay let's use this so I apply this my space here it's a group so I have to enter this group and apply this material here as you can see that's just basically it all right so this is how it looks so in terms of materials i'll leave this be and then if i want to again select other materials like for example this is a default material i just use the eyedropper tool i took from here and then select it and boom we have the default material here and if I would select this brick material likewise I do the same so that's basically it now V-Ray has a texture rollout in its new 4.2 setting that allows us to edit materials based on our projection choices there's the triplanar there's a triplanar fit there's a spherical and there's a spherical fit so and there's the remove material now previously in sketchup if you want to remove a mat remove a material that you put on a surface you have might have to delete the wall but now with this new option with viri showing how viri has been able to integrate deeper into sketchup as an application and be able to be able to work together you know, to please whoever is using it now you can use a viri option and it will take effect in the SketchUp option, serving both parties. So I want to take off the material on this side of the wall. I just simply click this and it's gone. That was, that was really cool. And for this side of the wall, let's say I want the projection to be triplanar world, modified sexual placement for a selected object. Let's see what this does. Okay. Now what this basically did was what SketchUp and Vary, they were able to calculate the material and also the edges. Now normally this is where bricks are joined together and we clicking that it was able to map this to the world, world placement in the SketchUp interface. Now let's see, let's go back to our scene here and let's see what this does, triplanar projection fit. Now, this fits everything depending on the size of the surface. Now, the texture material I'm using is dimensions maybe 2000 pixels by 2000 and SketchUp has this calculation fixture that maps it according to the dimension of the surface you're placing it. So, you rarely use this option but you use it when you're making advanced materials which we'll get into. i will come here and then spherical projection. Wow, the material is gone. Now, I don't know where you need this besides spherical, but maybe it's for spherical objects like circular objects that have continuous surfaces that might be difficult to map each one. But I'll bring up a tutorial video on how to map circular objects later. 
and spherical projection fit basically the same thing so let's take that back to our triplanar and then if we want to remove the material okay so now let's go on to the advanced method of making the material in V-Ray. First of all, open the asset editor. And you can see here, it's already showing the material that we applied before. Now this material might not be in your interface presently, but it's saved already as a used material in case you want to use it later or apply it to any fixture later. But we'll make do of that and say goodbye. All right, so coming on to the material rollout, Presently, we have no material here, so this icon has gone from this blue to dim like the rest. So if we want to make a material, we simply click and we have a choice of generic, metallic, emissive. Generic is a generic material just like the brick was. Then this is a metallic material as the name suggests, metals. And then an emissive material, materials that emit sort of light or anything. Two-sided. We'll go into all of this later on another video, but let's simply look at how to make a material. Now we click generic, and in this V-Ray editor, we have a couple of wow, really, really intimidating switches in terms of beginner status. I know coming into V-Ray newly, you'll be kind of shivering over these uh, over these setting rollouts, but once you get the hang of it be no biggie so this is basically diffuse diffuse is the color or map of the texture now the brick material that we saw earlier let me bring back bring that back up and apply it to this wall and if we go to our asset editor just give it a little bit of time yes it's here and we have it and we in this our diffuse here in the texture slot if we click it we can see that this brick material is there so basically in our generic material we have the option of putting any texture it might be a picture of you or a color or any single thing as long as it's a texture map by texture map either a bitmap and then supports all formats PNG and what a view all right so basically we're going to put a base map for this and I would like to go to texture images all right and let's pick this tab I'll leave a link in the description below to show you where I get all of my free PBR materials, I'm going to go to drop another video explaining PBR materials in detail. So I've applied this here, and that means this generic material has a new texture. And then we can come over because now it's in selection and paint over this wall, and boom. Now this material is improperly scaled. So let's try out this. Let's try out this triplanar world fit to see if it will give us a helping hand. Nope, it didn't. So we're going to come over to SketchUp to edit. Now in the edit rollout, we have these dimensions here, and we have this chain. This chain locks the aspect ratio. By aspect ratio, if I change this to 500, you can see the texture increase in scale and also the, the one below this is the width and this is the length so if i break this i can make this any dimension i want and any dimension i want and then lock it back but for this i want it to be uniform so i'll make this six no that's too big two five hundred millimeters okay so we have a bit of a workable material scale here Go back to my scene and then basically that was how I made my own material using the very asset editor instead of using the materials that SketchUp 
already has in their rollout. And like I said, which which is your verdict? Let me know in the comment section. Which is your verdict? Either you prefer schedule materials or you prefer making materials of your choice. I mean, I personally I prefer making my own materials because uh, that makes me more flexible in creating the renders that I want to make because of what I want to put into the render. But the materials they are cool either way. I mean, I started with them without the knowledge of applying materials this way. So. That is basically it. Basically, it. we'll talk about all these rollouts in another video, and I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you guys for watching. Do leave a like if you found this video really helpful, and also don't forget to share it to your friends or anyone you you think this video will give a helping hand to. And don't forget to follow me on my social media pages, on my Instagram and Facebook pages at ekchuko inc. The link is in the description below to be up to date on more content and also subscribe to this channel to get more learning tutorials and i'll see you in the next video peace